pretty people it's crystal your very own lip swatch model and your very own beauty pro and when i say i'm a beauty pro i actually am a professional makeup artist and along the way i've also become a licensed esthetician and hair stylist editorial commercial advertising new york fashion week and many other things related to beauty it seems like only recently we showcased some of lisa eldridge lipsticks but here we are again because really lipstick is a girl's best friend recently i shared what is called crystal's criteria so let's start with customer service as a matter of fact the service was almost too impeccable because it um, I did the pre-order and then it seems like I got an email and while I was reading the email they were at the door delivering it felt like that I'm like wait wait a minute I'm not ready I'm not ready to film yet presentation presentation with Lisa Eldridge once again with this collection is impeccable the the fabric this feels like actual linen and the color is gorgeous. As you can see, I, I would love an outfit in this color. <laughs> this gorgeous turquoise with this gold piping. The seams are extremely well done. And the lip kits came in this exquisite, beautiful floral makeup bag. She collaborated with artist John Jacobson and had this design actually commissioned specifically for this launch. The lipsticks come in the white and gold packaging as always. And another little attention to detail that I like is that the lipstick is not just in the outer packaging. There is an inner cardboard casing that keeps the lipstick more secure. Then we have that beautiful, smooth, gold packaging it has a nice weight to it the component is firm be careful with your lipsticks not just this one but any of them some people have a habit of turning their lipsticks all the way up and applying them that is just asking to break any lipstick regardless of the quality so with my lipsticks i generally apply either with a lip brush or I just turn up just enough. This first one up is a beautiful burnt orange. It's called Velvet Dragon. I knew I had to have it. I love um, those burnished orange tones or reds with that vivid orange undertone. This one is just beautiful. When I saw it online, I thought, oh, that's going to be uh, maybe a dupe for MAC Chili but it is different. I should have known. Uh, Lisa's been in the game. She's a top pro. She's probably unlikely to do an, an exact dupe of something so popular. Then she gave us this vivid, bright fuchsia called Carnival. And next, we have Skyscraper Rose. At first glance, you might think it is very similar to Carnival, but it definitely has its own personality. It's vivid too. Rich, vivid electric rose. So drama this time with Velvet Midnight. And it was right on time because for fall, winter this year, I said I wanna go really deep and vampy. The lip pencils, however, were not available individually. They were only available in the lip kit. Smith is another like really rich, deep berry shade. It's so beautiful. It's that perfect, it, it sits right on the edge, right before you get to vampy and get to that really blackened berry, but deeper than the fuchsias if you're a little bit more conservative. Again, it has that beautiful like velvet sort of filament design on it. It has that beautiful texture just like velvet on the outside. It makes it just such a sight to behold and you do almost hate to use them. Again, if this is your first time or you're unfamiliar with Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, the component has that divine magnetic clasp. Once again, with regards to quality, these lipsticks are one swipe wonders. Meaning as soon as you swipe them on, you get this beautiful, velvety, so even, smooth, gorgeous, pigmented, streak-free, 
color. <laughs> I've tried hundreds of lipsticks and that's no exaggeration. These are at the top of the lipstick game. I almost skipped out on a kit and the lip pencil, but I knew, I had to know what the formula was going to be like since this is her first time releasing lip pencils under her own brand. Keep in mind that Lisa Elder just worked for some high powered beauty brands, including being a top person at Lancome. So she knows formulas. The lip liner is exquisite, applies like a dream. You barely have to use any pressure to get full color payoff. It's soft and blendable. It's almost like a lipstick and a pencil. And with that in mind, it is a little soft. And I noticed when I used a little too much pressure, I did break the point once. And it also sets in place and is long wearing. And then another new release for the Lisa Eldridge line is a lip gloss. And this is from the Myth Kit. The formula, as you can see, goes on beautiful and glassy. It's not greasy or gloppy. It stays in place. It doesn't migrate on the lips. One of you made a very good comment the last time I covered Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and said that because she doesn't release so often there's something about her products that seem more special and I definitely agree although these lipsticks are actually worthy of being permanent and being available all year round I actually like the way that she's releasing them sort of semi-annually or annually it adds a certain allure to the brand and it keeps the brand elevated and I like that because so many people are compromising for a dollar. Of course they're in business to make a dollar but so many brands I think have compromised their reputation to put out too many products and it may work at first but in the long run it is kind of damaging the reputation of some brands. I just had to share those latest lippies with you. I wouldn't be your personal beauty pro if I didn't. So that's it for the latest launch of the Lisa Eldridge lip products. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to the new people. Thank you for watching my ride or die pretty people. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, select the notification bell so that when you do need a personal beauty pro, and you will, you know where to find me. So until we meet again in the very next video, keep it pretty. So tell your good night, cause I'll find a way.